You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Caillou the patient. It was a beautiful day, and Caillou, Mommy, and Rosie were going to the park. Caillou was trying to decide which toy to take. I'm going to take my airplane. Let's go! Oh, wait for us! Look at me, Mommy! My plane can fly really fast! I'm the fastest jet pilot in the whole wide world! Caillou, you're flying faster than anyone ever has before. Yahoo! Slow down, Caillou. You don't have your running shoes on. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Caillou. Are you all right? Caillou had scraped his knees, and they really, really hurt. Caillou fell down. Ow, it hurts, Mommy. Ow, ow. Boo-boo. Oh, poor Caillou. <laughs> You'll be okay. Let's get you home so I can fix you up. You are my first patient today. I see you've had quite a tumble. So first I'll have to examine the wound and check for broken bones. Caillou thought it was funny that Mommy was pretending to be a doctor. Good. First we need to clean you up a bit. We'll have you back up in your plane in no time. Ouch! Ooh. It'll just take a second. Caillou tried to be brave, just like a real jet pilot would be. I know what my patient needs now. Nurse Rosie, could you please get me a cotton swab from that tin? Nurse Rosie! This will keep the wound clean so it will heal quickly. Now we need something else. Do you know what that is, Nurse Rosie? Aha! Uh -huh, exactly! Now, how about a tall glass of special Get Better juice? Ouchie! That's going to be a little sore for a while. How about I give you a plane ride? Rosie, too! Rosie? You can be my co-pilot. You go ahead and show me the way. <laughs> there you go. I gave you a window seat in your very own airplane. Caillou's knees still hurt a little, but he really liked his new bandages. Caillou! Boo-boo airplane! Well... You must be a very special passenger on this flight. Only special passengers get a cookie. Thank you. Caillou thought his knees felt a little better, 
He wanted to see if they would hurt when he walked. Try to catch me, Billy! <laughs> Leo! There's Clementine and Billy! And I saw Leo, too! I think they're going to the park. Are my patient's knees working all right? Why don't you try a couple of steps around the living room? Oops, I mean the airplane. Caillou thought his knees felt much better now. Nothing make better. <laughs> I'm Pilot Caillou, and we're taking off on a flight to the park. Well, your landing gear seems to be in fine working order. Let me check with my co-pilot. Rosie, can we land at the park? Park! The park it is, and I've got just the thing that a pilot and co-pilot need for a successful flight to the park. <laughs> Mommy, I'm a good pilot! <laughs> yes, that's why you've got your wings badge. And what do all good pilots wear when they want to run? Running shoes! Right. Clementine, Leo! Caillou, what happened to your plane? I had a crash landing. See? Ooh. And when I got all better, Mommy gave me my pilot's wings. Cool. You sure are brave, Caillou. Does it still hurt? It did at first, but not anymore. <laughs> Rosie co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> be the doctor. First, I have to examine the wound. That's your boo-boo. <laughs> Next, we have to clean the wound. All clean. Now let's see if everything works. <laughs> You're all better. Thanks, Dr. Caillou. Is everyone ready for takeoff? Yeah! yeah. Start your engines! Caillou, the police officer. One day, Caillou and Mommy were on their way to play school. And Caillou was helping Mommy drive. That means turn, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. Light, Mommy. That means stop. Right you are, Caillou. Green means go. The lights aren't on. They must be broken. And those workers are going to fix them. What's the policeman doing? He's showing the cars when to stop and when to go, since the lights can't do it. Now they have to stop. And we can go. Don't you want to play with the others, Caillou? Uh-uh. I'm watching the policeman directing traffic. Oh, I see. I thought policemen just caught bad guys. Oh, no. They help people in lots of other ways. Really? Oh, yes. They make sure that people drive their cars safely so no one gets hurt. They can help drivers who are lost find where they're going. And if any children are lost, they can help them find their way home again. Wow! Caillou decided he'd like to help people, like police officers do. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like a job for police officer Caillou. <laughs> don't cry. Did you lose your mommy and daddy? Well, don't worry. We'll find them. Over here! All in a day's work. Officer Caillou, we need you at Main Street and 10th. I'm on my way. Caillou wanted to help people, but he especially wanted to direct traffic. And he knew just what he needed for that. playing a game before you came along. You know you can only help people when they want some help. And that whistle is very loud. You must be more careful and not blow it in anybody's ear or it could hurt them. Okay. Why are you chasing Leo? He's a bad guy. He just robbed the bank. A bad guy? Well, I'm a policeman. Gotcha. <laughs> Now he's going to put you in jail. Yeah, come on, bank robber. How long do I have to stay in here? A hundred years. <laughs> Children. Okay, you can come out if you promise you won't do it again. I promise. That afternoon, Caillou helped clean up after snack time. Since it's such a nice day, why don't we have story time outside? All right! right. The workers had finished fixing the traffic lights. Caillou wondered where the policeman was. The police officer looked very hot. Caillou thought he might be thirsty. Caillou? Miss Martin, can I give some juice to the policeman? That's a very good idea, Caillou. Go ahead. Hello, would you like some juice? Hello there. Yes, please. It sure is hot out here. Thank you. Why did you give that car a ticket? Because it's not supposed to be here. It's blocking the fire hydrant. And if there was a fire, the firefighters wouldn't be able to hook up their hoses. That's another way you help people. Hmm. Where's your police car? I don't have one. I have this. A bike? You ride a bike just like I do? That's right. Thanks for the drink, uh... My name is Caillou. Well, thank you very much, Caillou. It was very nice to meet you. Now, I think you'd better join your friends. Looks like you're missing out on a story. Oops, I gotta go. Bye! Caillou was glad he'd made a new friend. And he couldn't wait to go home and tell Mommy and Daddy that he had helped a police officer. A helping hand. 
Caillou, there are people who help us every day, like doctors, police officers, firefighters, and teachers. But you know what? We can also help each other. If someone has a problem and things aren't so grand, just reach out, do the best you can. Give them a helping hand. Just give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. Give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. It's neighbors helping neighbors. A friend helping a friend. You help me. And I'll help you. Then, then we, we both, both win, win in the end. end. Just, Just give, give them, them a hand, hand give them, them a hand, give them a helping hand. Give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. Caillou, I've got to move this box. Can you help me? Sure, Grandpa. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Grandpa's friend. Caillou was waiting for his grandpa to arrive. They were going to the park today. Grandpa! Caillou and Grandpa decided to ride the bus to the park. Don't you have to pay, Grandpa? Nope. I have a bus pass to ride free, just like you. Caillou loved riding the bus. It was so big, and there were new people getting on or off at every stop. Caillou had never seen this park before. He couldn't see any swings or slides. He wondered what they could play in a park like this. Hey, kid. My name's Caillou. <laughs> this is my friend George. He calls me kid because he's older than I am. I met your grandpa many, many years ago in this very park. He was only about this tall back then. <laughs> Even Rosie's bigger than that. Come on. I just finished setting up. I hope you like riddles, Caillou. What are these for? We're going to play croquet. You and I could be a team. Caillou didn't know how to play croquet, and he was too embarrassed to ask. He felt a little shy around Grandpa's friend, George. Hey, Caillou, do you like riddles? Oh, here we go. What animal can jump higher than a house? Any animal. Houses can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I know a riddle. What kind of fish chases a mouse? A catfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Would you like an apple, Caillou? This is Rexy. He's a dinosaur. Caillou didn't feel so shy after all. He thought Grandpa's friend was a lot like his friends, only older. After lunch, they began their game of croquet. Grandpa showed Caillou what to do. Just aim the mallet and tap the ball. Caillou wondered how far he could hit the ball if he swung really, really hard. Just tap it. We don't want to send it all the way to Timbuktu. I missed. Oh, that's okay. You can do it over. Special beginner's rule. Hmm? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good, Caillou. You're a natural.
I think there's something wrong with your ball. I think so, too. Hey, this isn't my ball. It's an apple. <laughs> oh, you're just like your grandpa. He was always playing tricks on me when he was little. Caillou loved the idea that he and Grandpa were alike. But he still couldn't imagine Grandpa as a little boy. Still, I did tap your ball. My play. <laughs> there it goes, kid. Right into the pond again. <laughs> we lost our bowl. That's okay. We can get it back. Come on. Why did George say it fell in the pond again? He was talking about the first time we ever played croquet together. Boy, that takes me back. It was right here in this park. I must have been about 10 years old and about <laughs> this tall. I knocked my ball too hard and it bounced all the way into the pond. <laughs> Just like our ball, Grandpa. Yep. When I tried to get it back, I lost my balance and fell in the pond. Maybe you wanted to go swimming, but you just didn't know it. <laughs> I never thought of that. Maybe I did. George said Caillou was just like Grandpa. But now Caillou thought Grandpa was just like him, too. Yay! That means we can keep playing. <laughs> That's right, Caillou. We found our ball. The kid didn't fall in again, did he? All you have to do to win is knock the ball through the last hoop and try to hit that wooden pin. Very impressive, Caillou. Are you sure you've never played croquet before? Nope. I won. Oh, that was a close game. I thought for sure you'd beat me, Caillou. I like croquet. It's fun. Soon, it was time to go back home. <laughs>